Hey there, welcome back to my channel, Messy with Michelle. In today's video, it's all about fireplace mantle decor ideas. I'm gonna share with you different ways I use decor to create visual interest on my mantle to have a really great focal point in my room. So if you love this type of content, including how-to videos, DIYs, and cleaning motivation, I love for you to consider hitting that subscribe button because I wanna take you on my messy journey. So I'm gonna jump in, I'll show you before of what my mantle looked like, and then I'll start the decorating. Here are before shots of my living room and the dark accent wall that used to be by my living room mantle. And I recently painted the entire house a calm off-white by Benjamin Moore. And I just wanted to show you the befores and afters so you can see how just changing the paint color can really impact the decor on your mantle. Before I went in and started decorating, I had to address a few issues with my mantle that were separating from the wall. So I just used some caulking to make sure that gap was filled and used a fresh coat of Benjamin Moore's flat white paint to give the mantle a nice fresh look. So this is what my living room currently looks like now with the walls painted and the fresh coat of paint on the mantle. I will be removing all the decor and I will be leaving the mirror above the mantle which is going to be my anchor. So when I say anchor you want to consider when you are decorating to have a large picture or a mirror above the mantle that's your anchor and your main focal point and this is the first thing that you'll be considering when you are decorating so when you are looking for decor you can start building around the anchor point of your mantle. One of the elements I definitely wanted to have on my mantle was pops of green, just to bring some life into the room. So having the organic look of having some eucalyptus really brought the mantle to life. This is my first attempt of decorating the mantle. I used some eucalyptus as well as an aqua color jug to give those pops of green, but I just wanted to add a bit more of a neutral color as well. So I went back to the drawing board and I found these beautiful cream vases from Urban Barn that really inspired me and went really Really well with the existing eucalyptus that I purchased but I also wanted to have some contrasting colors as well so when you are placing different decor on your mantle consider having contrasting colors just to add a bit more of a visual interest when you walk into the room so playing on visual interest, adding height to your mantle definitely allows you to have more interest and it just has different height variation. So when someone walks into the room, their eyes are looking up and they're looking down and they're looking all around at the elements. The last thing you wanna do is have decor on your mantle that's all the same height. So this way when someone walks in, everything's just at the same level and it doesn't really pop out at them. So by giving height to my mantle using this vase and eucalyptus really gave that visual interest in the room and I was also able to pull in the organic look by placing the eucalyptus inside the cream vase. But as you can see right next to it, I added the black vase just to give not only a lowering height beside the tall vase, but also the contrasting color as well. With height, you can use so many different objects to add that visual interest. Candlesticks are a great idea. They really add the height that you can use on your mantle. And when you are placing items on your mantle, definitely consider placing in odd numbers. So as you can see here, I have the contrasting black candlestick holders. They give the height that I'm looking for, but also they're in the odd numbers and it just seems to work very well when you do have objects placed in odd numbers rather than having in pairs. It just makes makes it more visually pleasing. So definitely consider that when you are placing items onto your mantle. So once again, playing on the organic look, this pot was perfect for these small branches of greenery. So I have the organic feel once again on the other side of my mantle, but I'm also creating the visual interest of having the lower ceramic vase with greenery, but your eyes are going back up when you see the contrasting black candlesticks that are taller in height. I found this really cute bird from HomeSense and I thought it looked great with the theme that I was going for with organic feels, bringing the outside colors in. And I thought it was just a great addition to the mantle because it has the contrasting black color. It's still with the organic nature type of theme and it looked great beside this cream ceramic pot. The mantle's coming together quite nicely. I have the organic look with the pops of green. I also have the height variation that I was looking for and I have a more balanced look now on my mantle with the anchor of the mirror 
tying everything in but I felt like I wanted to add something more personalized to my mantle so I created a very simple DIY to really put the personal touch on my mantle and to display. I found these really great frames from Marshalls and instead of buying a photo that was mass produced I decided to use photos that I've taken personally myself and it just to places and cities that I have visited and I think this is just a great way to really display something personalized and customized onto your mantle and that's one of a kind. So I just use various sizes of frames. I have an 8x10, a 4x4 and a 4x6 and I just use Walmart's photo center to print out the photos and now I'm just placing them into the frames and I'll show you in just a moment how I display them onto my mantle. Let me know down in the comments when's the last time that you printed off pictures from your camera or your phone. It's been so many years since I've done this and it just felt so nice to finally be able to have a physical copy of my pictures. My next idea when it comes to decorating is adding layering, especially with pictures. You saw previously that my old decor did have layered pictures and it just adds more visual interest on your mantle. So that's why I chose various sizes of frames so this way I could have them layered and displayed. So you have the eight by 10 at the back and then at the side you have the four by six and then lower I also have the four by four. So once again, you have the layered look but you also have the various heights for your eyes to go up and down. So let me know in the comments if you recognize any of these cities or places that I had visited. So here's the before of my mantle of what it looked like previously and here is what it looks like now and I have to say I'm really pleased how everything turned out and my vision really came to life and all the ideas that I had really were shown and displayed. I have the anchoring of the mirror that I worked around. I have the height. I have that organic feel, but I also have the contrasting colors. So this way you have more visual interest when you walk into the room. And you will notice that I did add my clock back to the mantle just because I absolutely love it. And it just works so well on the mantle and tied in really well with the new decor. So it's great to have a new look on my mantle, but also be able to use older decor pieces to also display. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you don't have a mantle in your home, you can also use these same tips for decor for shelving. So I really hope you love this video and if you did, hit that like button on your way out and I'll see you next week when I upload my next video next Sunday.